Okay, so in this video, we're going to run through the StatSeeker installation process. I've got a timer set up so we can keep track of it as we go. I'm going to be installing on a VM, which I've already built. I'll just show you the config for that one. Uh, low spec, uh, dual core, 8 gig of RAM, a little bit of storage. Um, it's on a VLAN that will give me access to a simulated network of a couple of hundred devices, maybe 15,000 interfaces. Uh, the ISO is already mounted and we're ready to go. So I'll kick off the timer and power on the VM. Here's our console and our timer and away we go. Um, there's going to be a few instances where processes might take a few minutes. I'll leave the timer going during that, but I will speed up the recording so we're not sitting through it. That said, this should only take a moment to get to the next step. Okay, here we are. So we've got uh, a couple of warnings just around your environment. Um, uh, there's more detail in the install documentation and the docs will take you through the process step by step, field by field, but it really is very straightforward. Just know the docs are there if you need them. Okay, so yes, my environment is good. Uh, yes, partition the drives as needed and yes, the install drive will be blown away. Now this will take a couple of minutes. I'll likely speed this one up. Okay, so time zone, that'll work for me. Yes, date's good, time's good. And now we enter the password. Um, now, the password that we're gonna be putting in here will be assigned to the server's root user and the server's StatSeeker user. That's the account that StatSeeker uses to run all of its processes on the server. And the same password will be set for the admin user account within StatSeeker. You can update these passwords later on if you like. So we uh, add the password and confirm. And now we're being asked to configure the primary interface between StatSeeker and the rest of your network. Uh, no, I don't want DHCP. Okay, so IPv4 address. You can have StatSeeker running on an IPv6 network, but you do need to configure an IPv4 uh, for address for that primary interface as well. Okay, uh, no, I'm not going to be dropping in an IPv6 um, address for that interface. Um, you can do that at a later time uh, if you want to. Uh, there, in the doco, there's um, uh, details for the syntax you can use for adding it. Um, it's just standard basic uh, IPv6 conventions, uh, full address, uh, leading zeros omitted, or the uh, empty group replacement uh, as you need it. Okay, so this one and the clock back. Okay, so no. And then a host name. and DNS. Okay, and we're done. Uh, so this next bit uh, will probably take uh, seven minutes maybe, uh, and I will speed it up just while it goes in and uh, drops in all the packages it needs, builds the StatSeeker server, and then we'll be done with this part of the installation. Okay, as soon as we hit the login prompt that you can see here, we're done with this part of the installation and we can finish the installation from the web GUI. Um, 
But before we leave, there's one thing that I need to do that you won't. So I'm just going to pause the uh, timer for a sec. Um, I don't have a real network uh, for the StatSeeker server to pull. Uh, so I need to put in a static route for this server to uh, hit the simulator to get through to um, uh, all of the simulated devices. So I'll do that and then I'll kick everything back in again. Just bear with me one sec. Okay, that's done. Uh, so I'll start the timer up again and we'll head off to the web interface. I'll be dropping in the IP uh, that we specified during the install process. Um, 24. Okay, uh, by default, Statseeker uses a self-signed SSL certificate for the web server. So that's the warning that we're seeing here from the browser. I'll hit advanced and we'll see that it's a self-signed cert. Uh, warning that's coming up. You can update the certificate as needed um, once the install is done. Okay, uh, so the next bit we're going to be adding in our server ID, which you would have got from uh, your local sales rep, and using that to bring down our new license key. and download a new key and at the moment it's going to be hitting the statseeker licensing server to bring down that key if your statseeker servers are locked down and it can't reach the network uh, outside of your business then contact your sales rep they'll be able to provide you with the license key you entered it directly in and just hit use entered key accept and save again it'll be pinging out to uh, update the uh, uh, license server that it's been licensed Okay, uh, and now we're through, through to a, a bit of a summary of our config with a few options down the bottom. Uh, the administration tool, if uh, this is going to be a server where you're restoring a backup from a previous installation or discovering network for a fresh server, which is what I'm doing now. All of these options are available um, from after hitting finish setup, which will just take you through to the console anyway. So I hit discover network and here you drop in uh, discovery ranges that it's going to use. It'll go and hit all the devices within those ranges. Uh, if they respond happily to StatSeeker, it will uh, include them in its config and start polling them straight away. Uh, so add in your uh, SNMP strings uh, for the devices you want StatSeeker to manage. Um, uh, and then we drop in our discovery ranges. So I'm just adding in this uh, 10100 subnet with a few exclusions, uh, devices that I don't want included in this instance. And then I hit uh, start discovery. Um, so that kick is off, uh, that it's kicked off straight away. Uh, a little bit of an intro video. I'm just going to hit finish setup. And uh, it'll by default, it'll go to our dashboard uh, landing page. Um, through to the console, you can see there's only a few reports there because it doesn't have any devices in yet. So it doesn't know which reports to show. That discovery process we just kicked off is going to go discover the devices on your network and then populate this list for you. Uh, over in the admin tool, we've got our discover my network option here, uh, which is what we're doing right now. Current status is running and I can just display the output log from that. Um, so as I said, the, uh, the network that it's going to be hitting is a simulated network. It's a couple of hundred devices, uh, maybe 250. Uh, I think it's around 15,000 interfaces. Um, uh, that'll probably take uh, 10 minutes, something like that. Um, for this StatSeeker server to go and collect the data across all of those devices. Um, once that process is complete, I didn't start, oh, I did start the timer again, good, good. Um, once that process is complete, uh, the data, uh, all the config for those devices will be in StatSeeker and it'll start polling them uh, as soon as the discovery process is completed. Um, I will speed it up, and uh, but let it go through the log so you can see it all happening. Um, and I'll get back to you in just a moment. Okay, uh, the discovery process is completed. Um, a little under 10 minutes. And... Um, uh, we're done. So I'm going to pause the timer. We're just under 25 minutes there. If I jump back into the console now, 
See, here's all the devices that it's uh, discovered. Um, reports relating to those devices are now uh, available. These are just the default reports for the kinds of devices we have there. Uh, you can build your own custom dashboards, uh, custom reports. There's a bunch of uh, default dashboards available in the dashboards there um, that come with your Statseeker install as well. Uh, and what I will do just to show you that we've got all that data in there uh, for those devices, I've selected all devices. If we go down to general, get some device details. So I've pulled all the uh, config details for each of those devices. Once that discovery process is, uh, has finished, it'll start polling each of those devices uh, and pulling in their um, time series data. Uh, and that'll be going on um, behind the scenes right now. And as we see, if we get down the bottom, we have a quick look. There's, yep, uh, 224 devices. And I think we get a full device count just from the admin tool back into the license key. We can see, there we go, 224 and uh, just under 15,000 interfaces across uh, those devices are available right now. Okay, uh, that's a basic install, um, including a uh, discovery process of uh, 225 devices all done in under 25 minutes. Uh, thanks for your time.